We made it. What you doing, Tyson? Oh, uh, you know. Hey! <laughs> we stopped at uh, Dry Lake. At Dry Lake, which is not dry, uh, for a picnic before we continue on up the road. And Tyson went and took a leak. I don't know if you all have ever heard of geocaching. People just hide random crap all over the place and leave the geo, uh, GPS coordinates for it. So Rachel, Rachel's off looking for a geocache. So we found the geocache right there and 10 feet from the geocache is a rattlesnake. Geocache, rattlesnake. Guess what we're having for dinner. Hey everyone, welcome to Prop Wash Ranch. A few weeks ago, we flew over West Peak looking for a, a World War II bomber that crashed on Mount Graham back in the 70s, and we found it. That's totally it. Oh, that's awesome. There it is. Look at that. We marked it on the GPS with the intent of hiking back there when my brother got back home and uh, camping overnight. He's back home now, and we're on our way up there. We stopped here for a picnic. It's a brisk 90 degrees here, so I thought what a great opportunity to shoot the intro. It was 102 where we left, uh, so this is a good bit cooler. And it should be a little bit cooler up there, like like 89 degrees. So we brought our jackets, should be a good time. Watching for rattlesnakes. Watching for rattlesnakes. I mean that knife, it just let me cut it. For some whatever reason, it's easier to do myself than more. The 
I've been lost in the wilderness for three days. I'm not sure we're gonna make it. The elites are leading the pack right now. We're uh, we're waiting for the others to catch up. Should be coming around the mountain. When she comes, pretty soon. Aha! You're using coconuts. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> On the road again. I just can't wait to get a cactus. Holy heck, that's a hill. Cactus? Nope. What is this? Would you like me to lower you a line? Yeah. Or perhaps my braided hair? I say a lot of stupid stuff. You need to edit all of it out. Stop what? Okay. What? No. I just don't want to be down struggling. I'm not. Camera's just resting on my leg. Don't throw a rock! That's just going to come back karma. Yeah, throwing rocks uphill is like peeing into the wind. Majestic in his natural habitat. What? We're taking a break in the in the lovely little meadow. Also, this darn GPS has been doing this, waiting for satellites ever since the start of the hike. So we're going off of pure intuition. We're smelling it out. The bomber's that way. We can see it. Are it's you guys coming? Right there on that ridge. Yes, we're coming. Breaker 1-1, one, one. this here's Rubber Duck. That's Tyson right there. You can hear him, and he can hear me talking, but he's talking on the walkie-talkie. We're so close. And we're very tired. You can see the wing right down in there. But you can't see it. But I can see it. But Rachel's ready to be done. Almost there. Holy smoke. I think we made it. Haha! <laughs> Look at that! Woo! Oh, that's awesome! We made it! <laughs> we made it. Um, I would like it on the record that our GPS never worked. I gotta take a break. That was awesome. We found it.
this is the tail section. Uh, it's still mostly intact. It's the most, it's the largest piece still intact. There's a lot of cables uh, for the controls. You can see the crank for the uh, elevators in the back. It's all very cool. And right here on the wall, you can see it has a uh, turret power on and off. So uh, let's go outside and let's keep looking around. Here's the intake and uh, we found the carburetor just over, over there. And then right here is a slurry tank. Um, you can see it's got a, a shaft that goes through it that runs all these arms inside there, um, probably for mixing the slurry while they're bombing. And then come over here. So you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see with the camera, but it says slurry load max 18,000 pounds, 2,000 gallons. So this carried 2,000 gallons of slurry. Here's one of the props. Uh, we're, we're doing the research to get the STC to put this on the Cessna. Uh, when we get that all legal, we'll let you know. Uh, this thing is huge and very heavy. Here's a carburetor. And then over here, we think this is the front landing gear. This looks like the front landing gear to me. And the cylinder head. Come look at the size of these valves. They're enormous. So I think this is a piece of the magneto. You can see the, the shaft with the cam on it and a set of points in there. So I think this was a piece of one of the magnetos. It's kind of cool. Uh, one of the landing gears right here. And then right behind me is a piece of wing. Um, the piece that's outside of the engine. We can't really find any much bigger pieces of engine than, than about this big. I think the engines just exploded when they hit the rocks. All right, so what I believe this to be is this would be the rocker for the cam. So your push rod would come up through here. Um, cam would be somewhere down here. And then this looks like your shaft to your uh, valve. So this, this would be part of a cylinder head right here. What's that? Holy smokes. That's the altimeter. Look at that. That's the altimeter. Well, that's neat. The setting that day was 29.9. Found the prop. All bent up. piece of aluminum is merged into this wood. I can't even actually get it out. It must have impacted it pretty hard. So the tail section is the biggest piece that we can find. We've been hiking all over, clear down in this gorge, looking for uh, the, the rest of the fuselage. There's a lot more plain. And in our very uneducated opinions, we've come to the conclusion that this is it. Um, all, this, all this confetti spread everywhere. 
is the remnants of the fuselage. I think it just uh, completely tore apart on impact. So the tail section is the biggest section. It's a big mess. Tyson made him a hiking buddy. Uh, it's kind of creepy. He calls it Tim. Tim? Yeah. Tim. It's actually secretly a voodoo doll. It's so that when he gets lost in the wilderness, he has a friend to talk to. He should have called it Wilson. Uh, we're hiking, packing up. We're about to hike back out. Everyone's real excited about it. It's a fun hike, cakewalk. It's real short. It's not a difficult hike at all. Huh, Rachel? You're a liar. That hike kicked our butts. Big fat liar. In case you're wondering if the hike is hard. It's uphill both ways. Onward. This way. I know where I'm going. Nope, it's right here. You're all wrong. Sure is beautiful. We just found a piece of airplane. I think it's a piece of the slurry tank on our hike back. I doubt you can see it in the camera, but the plane is clear over there. It's over half a mile away, probably three quarters of a mile. This wreckage made it all the way over here. That is crazy. Are you ready? To die. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Oh, no, hold on, we can't leave yet. How's Wilson doing? Ted, Fred. What are you doing? Timmy. Timmy! Oh, backpack broke. <sighs> Waiting on Tyson. Do you see all the sweat on Tyson's back? It's kind of gross. You can see where it's dried. And then... <laughs> How did the tree get to be like this? There's only one answer. Aliens. Aliens. And the weary trackers trudged on through the most treacherous terrain known to man. Leave me alone. They didn't think they'd ever make it out. One thing, one thing alone kept them going. That lizard. The thought of ice cream at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so I figure most people know what a geocache is, but I'm gonna explain anyway. We got one on the way up. What it is, it's this big uh, network. I don't know if you call it network. There's a website called geocache.com and anybody can go and hide a cache and it just has little trinkets in it or sometimes it's just a piece of paper it's just something to go find we went and found the bomber which is cooler than a geocache but on the way back we're, we're almost back to the truck maybe and uh and there's a geocache here somewhere so we're looking for it uh somebody's come here and hit it before us um so we're trying to find it and rachel just made a great big face excited found it as though she's found it you can see the bomber she found it you can see the bomber oh, oh yeah so so there's the cache it's probably got little trinkets inside and i don't know if the gopro will pick it up but over there is a bomber on that ridge let's open it up yep. she's very rested in place yeah. Don't do this at home, this kids. is Tyson demonstrating how to cut towards yourself into your arteries and and important organs. Okay. He is a trained Eagle Scout. Very, very let trained. Let me see the notepad. Somebody put their freaking reading glasses in here. And a crushed soda can. How thoughtful. So here's the cool thing. Uh, is the notebook I think and and people leave little accounts of of them finding it and who was there so we're gonna sign our names in it 
and it's pretty fun. It, it gets you out there, it gets you out exploring, geocache.com. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. I almost grabbed that. So how's Timothy doing? Still got him. What a nut. I'm really trying to keep an eye out for snakes. There are definitely snakes. That was a fun hike, right? Lovely. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're heading down the mountain. See you down at the bottom. Bye. Hey everyone, we made it down the mountain. Thanks for coming along with us. That hike was brutal, and I wasn't sure that we were going to make it back. But we all did. Uh, no snake bites. It was very steep hills and very thick brush, but it was well worth it. We all had a lot of fun. It was a great experience. Uh, we left nothing but footprints and we left the crash site how we found it. While we were gone, the new shirts came in. Rachel designed them and I think they look pretty great. Also, the 175 just got back from annual. So the next video is gonna have some flying in it. Comment below something that you wanna see from the air. Subscribe and hit the bell. That way you can keep an eye out for our next video. Thanks for watching Prop Wash Ranch. Hope you all have a good day. I don't know what to do with my hands.